Guten Tag. Greetings. Tell of a lover. This is Dr. Snow Brown. This is part two. Part two continued on from uh, part one. Mm. Regarding the warning to the two faced son of a bitches of Aotearoa, New Zealand. That's great. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is the second time. This is the second time. Mm. Only this time. That's right. The guy in the angel of a lover and Archangel to work. It, it, we've already sealed. We've already sealed. Hmm. A cursing upon all criminal organization, especially the KKK and MMB. Yes, yeah, right. At this location, this region of the country called Wellington, Windy Valley, and also especially in this township, it has been sealed by me today upon my blessed holy altar that a thousand Nazi soldiers are going to come storming in your country. Take over, take over. Hmm. You're going to take out MMB, KKK, especially the, those white demons. That's great. And you better pray that they don't take out all your criminal organizations. There are over 70 of them in this country. Hmm. Because at the rate that it's been going with this noble here, this meek noble at this location, I think we should eradicate the whole lot. That's great. Take out tyranny. And anarchy right out of the system. That's great. The pain in the butts, the rat bugs, the rat bags, and the punks that I've had to deal with and I've had to put up with in the last 25 years, especially in the last eight and a half years, at this address. That's great. So this is also a plea, a plea to Chancellor. Yes, your your your, your excellency. I, Dr. Snow Brown here, being a natural noble pastor who resides in Aotearoa, New Zealand, let's just say New Zealand, that's correct, in the last 40 odd years, um, I'm pleading, I am pleading to your excellency, Chancellor Olaf Scholz, that I would like a thousand Nazi soldiers to be deployed for peacekeeping. Actually, this is not peacekeeping. Your Excellency, I am not a dictator, but I am a natural noble master. I'm a noble, I'm a noble. I'm a meek German noble king. That's great. With a private monarch, a private monarch, a private ministry, a private company. And I've had enough. I've had enough. Your Excellency, I would like some, not divine intervention, but some noble Intervention from the Germans. That's great. From Deutschland. Is Wunsch? Is Wunsch sehr, sehr, sehr. Then, then helfen, then helfen. That's great. I'm pleading with you, Chancellor Olaf Scholz. I would like a thousand Nazi soldiers to take out, to take out these two criminal organizations, KKK and MMB. Red White Demon that I've been referring to inside my kingdom on Facebook in the last, oh my God, God knows how long. That's right. I've been preaching about the same son of a bitch, son of a bitches, and I have had enough. Your Excellency, any other Germans, I'm sure there's a lot of Germans in, yeah, that's right, in New Zealand, New Zealand. That have also been dealt to by the same criminals. That's correct. Especially in this local township called Upper Hutt. Well, I refer to it as Upper Skati Hutti. There has been a lot of foreigners, possibly more so Germans, that have been dealt to by the same criminals. That's correct. <clears throat> My father being one. I, myself being one. We've got German running in our veins. That's correct. In my blood. My intellectual property is actually German. Deutsch, Deutsch. <clears throat> and I don't need to speak German either to say that I'm German. Because if I was living in Deutschland, I would be speaking German. I would be eating German, but I would be speaking German. Yeah. This is a Deutsch expression. Sprechen! Oh, you want me to count?
from what? One to ten? German? Any idiot can count from, yes, yeah, right. Numbers to German and say hello in German. Yeah, guten Tag. Guten Abend. It's a list for comment. That's right. All these phrases. But now, deep down, I know I'm a German Chancellor, or, or, or Olaf Schultz. This is why I got down to by the so-called son of a bitches in this country. Because of their jealousy, but they're, 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 they're sick, so-called sicko, psycho, addiction to sex. That's correct. How dare you expect sex from a noble like me, and your class is your commoner. You know what I mean? I'm a full royal. You don't ever dare expect, expect something like that from a natural of a pastor, let alone a pastor. How dare? And certainly not from a slave either. Not from a bunch of outlaws and criminals. You don't have that right at all. You got no right to enter my private spaces, let alone damage my digital devices. That you can't afford. They have not got the nerve to create. But to steal from a noble like me. You have the nerve New Zealand. You tell your government. You better pay out 150 billion. On your behalf. Or your whole country is going to be tortured. You want to see burning everywhere in this country. Your country has been cursed today. That's right. You selfish son of a bitches! Do you think my lord would give a damn about your treaty partnership? Where the Maoris are supposedly spies! Behave like spies! And your treaty partnership that is so evil, you spy on people! What kind of arrangement is that? What kind of partnership is that? Where you are spying on other citizens! And doing evil stuff to other citizens! Like myself, that's correct. I don't have to put up with your shit. Your people should be put, you know, burned down. Should be put to death. Pain in your asses. How can you spy on other citizens? Like they're strangers. That's correct. Dope them in. Be police informants. My God, I don't know what kind of citizens are these people. These people are not human. They got the nerve to enter my private space. Again today when I went out, there's no doubt that some son of a bitch came inside my private flat. Do you see how? Chancellor all love shows. You have no idea. You should consider yourself very lucky that you live in Deutschland. If you lived here among these people, you would have a hard time, all right? Not only with the government of New Zealand that is so fucking racist and prejudiced, but also with the officials, you name it, whether it be the, the sergeant at the police station or some other white English son of a bitch in this country that are so fucking arrogant. That's correct. My cause, I, if I consider the atrocities that I had to put up with, Your Excellency, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to handle. I don't think, I think you would want to put the... You know, give them the bullet. I think you would want to put them out. Their misery. So they don't target people like you and me. That's correct. I'm a first class German. That's correct. And as a full royal, I damn well got a right to protect myself. But also a right to tell you people, commoners, outlaws, whatever you call yourselves, you got no damn right to keep, come waltzing inside my private flat and do what you do behind my back like a bunch of strangers and criminals that you are. And I'm sure that the Secretary General of NATO, Jen Stoltenberg, that's great, no royal ranger politician, I think you'll agree with me that you need to deploy, even I would plea, please. Uh, you need to deploy, that's correct. NATO, I would love some help from NATO to deploy 1,000 Nazi soldiers to come and take out my enemies in this country. I never immigrated to this country so that I could become a bunch of criminal so-called, you know, playmate or plaything 
and even, you know, like a, a, a guinea pig mm. or a slave or a laughing stock. I don't think so. I don't think the English could put up with this kind of bullshit. That's right. So why do you think I deserve it? Huh? You can say that again. I'm sure that His Royal Highness King Harold V will not tolerate these kinds of pissed and wreck bags. He would have put them out. That's great. Yes, 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 ya, ya, bo. Hmm. You want a thousand Nazi soldiers? You got it. They need to be taught a lesson, but they need to be buried. The government of New Zealand is such a useless go government. That's great. I don't know what, how could a government let 70 plus criminal organizations to exist in this country when there's only 4.8 million people. That is correct. There's too many. That's fucking too many. There's too many criminal organizations. But why? Is it because the government of New Zealand pays you millions to do what you do? Yeah, but, but, but you're doing it to the wrong people. You should be doing it to your own. That's right. Your own slaves. Your own criminals. Other criminals. Other slaves from other criminal organizations. Those are the ones you should be targeting. That's correct. And those are the ones whose houses and private spaces you should be entering and studying and hacking into. That's correct. But not the people like myself. Oh, no. Hell no. You got no right to go there. The only thing that's valuable, especially the son of a bitch here next door, is this huge dick. Huge prick that he can, you know, Damn well, show it up there to the white nigga, so-called, uh, yeah, backside, or, or, or either way, sideway, you name it. That's about all. That's about the only thing that's valuable. Now, if that's what the government of New Zealand is worth, a huge dick, which might be a, a brown dick, hmm, or, or a white dick, or a butthole that is big enough for, for, for that kind of dissatisfied, because after all, a man, if that's what it means to be a white man in this country, That you don't care, that's great. That the slaves exist as long as they satisfy your sexual appetite and, and your so called on, on that level. Man, that you guys deserve the mass grave. You deserve the mass grave. Mm. I, I would hate to exist only for that purpose to be somebody's gigolo or somebody's so called plaything. That's great. What kind of purpose is that? You expect the Germans to feel sorry for your people? How can you feel sorry for people that can't even help themselves? That will do things the right way because the government of New Zealand supposedly allows them to break the law and think they're above the law. That's great. But they don't set a good example for the rest of us to follow either. Dodgy, dodgy and crooked. Who would want to be part of a government? That, that actually aids and obey and abet criminals in this country to do what they do. That's great. To dish out the wrath and the evil and to target people that have got no right to target. That's correct. They should learn to respect the nobles' arrangement and our boundaries. And we most certainly don't need any fighting aello and a battle to enter our private spaces, so the word so the Samoans would say. That's correct. Get a man, any qualifications? Guy a fight, I? Guy a bully? Nah. Make you coupe? And I oi? I see a bullet? I see a boko? I like a boko? I poco fa long, but poco fa male? Nah. If I come, come work with Palagi, play me fight. Because they don't know what to do. You know what I mean? That's right. And that's why nobles like us know how to deal. Hmm. With our levels. But when you consider what they get up to. Oh my gosh. Even the people in prison. I would say you know what. Stay in prison. Stay in prison. You don't ever want to come out. And have to deal with these kind of criminals. This great. These kind of rat bags or pests as I refer to. But if this is how it's going to be. I'll tell you right now. When I turn 50. 
you, you're going to wish that you're in another country. It's going to be war. It's going to be war, all right, when I turn 50. And when they, it's a war zone, and when a noble like me declares war, well, there ain't nothing but just burning and you name it, fire engines, explosions, you name it, you ask for it. You like that kind of thing? There'll be riots everywhere. I declare war. But 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 today I seal seal. That's right. They they're so cool. Cursing. This country is 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 pathetically stupid. That's correct. That it, it gives the criminal organizations the power to dictate and the power to, to assert some sort of, I don't know, slavery type dominion. Who wants to be a slave? Who wants to be somebody's slave at, 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 you know, in 2022? I seriously, New Zealand. That's correct. So that's why I'm pleading to all the Germans in Aotearoa, New Zealand. If I were you, I'd go back to Germany. Oh, I would leave this country. Either go to Australia or another country. Because this country is so racist. I have never met, let alone ever dealt with the most arrogant indigenous people on the face of the earth in this country. I'm talking about there are a lot of other indigenous people that have signed treaties that have possibly signed treaties in other countries like the American Indians. They've never what? They have never taught anybody a lesson that's correct for not respecting their treaty arrangements or treaty agreements that they signed. Never, never. I ain't never heard of such arrogance. First one here, first one here. Mm. This is what the Maoris have been doing with the so-called, with this evil partnership with white men, white niggas in this country, because they supposedly, you know, they know how to satisfy each other. They, they, they know how to, you know, ha have little secret discussions. That's correct. They know how to spy on, on other people mm, and have them doubt to for what they say and what they do in secret. My gosh, what kind of, what kind of arrangement is that? What kind of friendship is that? It's such a devious kind of, you know, apartheid type, really, yeah, disgusting friendship, partnership. Never, never. I have never, ever heard the Aborigines ever teach, uh, you know, other indigenous, part indigenous people, other citizens of Australia for not respecting their so-called treaty rights. That's correct. We've got the most arrogant son of a bitches in this country. That even includes them out there in ministers. That's correct. They go through criminal organizations to teach people a lesson like you. That's correct. For saying things about their treaty. But I'm saying, hey, it ain't your God. Let it go, you know. It's a piece of paper that could easily, you know, be, be shredded and put in the fire. And let you people have, have lost the plot. That's correct. You know, they really have lost the plot. It's like if anybody says anything about their treaty or partnership, it's like they're going to teach you a lesson. They're going to torture you. Like, like Matthew Palmer, the arrogant prick who's a chief justice. That's great. What gives you people the right to do that? The thing you can teach other people because of what they say, negative things about your treaty partnership. Well, I don't blame people. I don't blame the Germans. If they leave your country or most foreigners decide to leave your country, they don't want to have the burden to have to what? Respect the treaty? It doesn't mean anything to some people, like, especially Christians. That's great. We don't need some 40 chiefs that sign the treaty. They live inside of us. You know what I mean? We got Jesus living inside. That's right. We got <laughs> Jesus that's taken host or taken vacancy inside, inside our temple, our body. That's great. But if you ever tell me that I need to give you respect and recognition for a man-made, you know, document. You, 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 you must be out of your mind. They must be, they must be Looney Tune. They must be Looney Tune. They must be the most arrogant son of a bitches as well. Hmm. To have that kind of arrogant expectation. Now, there are lots of people that say, sign treaties. That's great. We don't need to speak your language. I don't need to speak any Maori. In fact, I find it quite offensive and, and, and insulting if somebody spoke to me in Maori. 
and I'm not Maori, and I'm not likely to reply back in, in, in that language. That's correct. Because I know who I am. Because I know who I am. It's correct. And if this is a democracy, and I'm independent, and I've got a kingdom, I can tell, I can, I can say to you, I don't need to speak your language. I don't need to say anything. That's correct. But if you ever cross my boundaries, where you come in and think you can dish out the wrath that I don't deserve, with all those decisions, just take a look at all those decisions they gave you. Man, they must be the most arrogant son of a bitches, all right? Full of jealousy. I have never come across such indigenous people who are so rude and arrogant to give up, you know, somebody like your caliber, those kind of decisions, but to actually enter your, your, your flat every time you went out because, you know, because they felt justified to, you know, to give you a, a payback. Man, you, you, you gotta be kidding. They deserve the death penalty. They deserve to be taught a lesson by Nazi soldiers. They deserve to be tortured, but they deserve to be put in the mass grave. They're evil. They're evil. What else can you say? They're evil son of a bitches, all right? Oh, don't you worry. When I sent all the PDFs to the Chancellor Olaf Scholz, he has no choice. Hmm. Because, you see, Germans understand other Germans. Generally, they'll weigh up. Yeah, you'll be weighed and measured. And I tell you what, the war that is happening there in Ukraine is nothing. It doesn't mean a damn thing to me. That's great. But what's happening to me in this country is more important. It is even more important and significant and so symbolic than, than, than the war over in Ukraine between Ukraine and Russia. And I'm sorry, Your Excellency. That's right, Chancellor Olaf Scholz. I being, you know, German descent, that's great. I'm a noble. And my intellectual property is German. I'm afraid you, you'll have to intervene. You'll have to grant me my wish of 1,000 Nazi soldiers because, yeah, well, it's my right. It's my right as a German, mm. as a German noble. But it's also the right of my German ancestors who were white full parkas. They were full parkas to also teach the so-called commoner, low classes. Yeah, a bunch of criminals. Remember, your ancestors, they were full Parkers, that's correct, full Germans, full Scottish people. So they deserve to be respected on that level. And they damn well, they, if, they, if they were alive, they would have said, go ahead, knock them dead. Bury their asses, that's correct. They deserve it. They are not worth anything. They, they are despicable, devious Son of a bitches, but they are weeds and wolves in sheep's gloves and they deserve the burning. And they deserve to be buried and crucified upside down and even hung up. Mm. For all the atrocities and all the deviousness and evil deeds that they've been up to and doing to you. Dishing you the wrath, the nerve of your rallies to be such baumumukus, that's correct. Aalikuluku we are. They'll all the scrub their mouths out and, let, and also their assholes out. That's correct. Ew, disease. I know. Oh, yuck. That's correct. I don't know who's prick, who's, who's pussy they've, uh, you know, they've been delving into, indulging in. That's correct. I mean, it's bad enough. Hell, but the nerve of these people to think they can demand sex from anybody. What a bunch of sex addicts, disgusting son of a bitches, that's correct. And the elites have got no brains. I mean, they, their brains are, they must be tails. Mm. The kind of tails that, that is so thick that there's barely any room in there in their buttholes, that's correct. My goodness, can you imagine I'm, I'm about to turn 50 and already I, I'm, I'm in the mood to declare war. Mm. The kind of war where you just see fire everywhere. That's great. And things exploding and riots everywhere. That's the kind, that's the kind of war I'm, I'm starting to, to want to get into. That's great. But I mean, at this age, I'm, I'm about to be turning 50. But I'm ready. I'm ready for that kind of all out war. That's great. And only because the people here in this country, they deserve it. Mm. 
They sure do deserve to be taught a lesson, but to be buried as well at the same time. Mm. Mass graves is what they deserve. They got their wish. They got their wish. They sealed it today. Mm. They most certainly deserve to be put to death. For being arrogant side of a bitches and selfish side of a bitches. And all they think about is, is my ass, my pussy, my prick. That's great. It's me, 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 me. That's right. Greedy, 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 greedy guts. As if, you know, why don't you just settle with one woman, one husband, one wife? Is that not enough? That's great. I mean, if you know how to eat that one really well, then why do you need to go for seconds and let go of us? That's great. Hey, if, if, if I mean, it's, it's bad enough, you know, the way I see it, you only need one man. Why do you need 10 and 100 or 200? That's great. Man, you must not be a good lover. That's right. I mean, first of all, you got to eat one person. You got to learn how to eat that person. That's great. Properly and thoroughly. But I mean, you know, the fact that they're going from one to a hundred, two hundred and a thousand. My God. And, and what? No satisfaction? You're still not satisfied? Yeah, what's wrong? Maybe you're a demon. That's why. Duh. Yeah. Maybe you're a demon. You ain't satisfied? So, um, you know, you're going to go for an elite? Oh, now you think you can, you can get sex from a royal? Now you think you can get sex from, from, from young little pussies? That's correct. Except they won't be satisfying either. Man, you should go, maybe you should go to the moon. There might just be a Bigfoot there or a big elephant that's going to satisfy you. <laughs> that's going to satisfy them. Oh my gosh, I know. As if, you know, hey, do you see the, the population density? There's about 7 billion of us. Why are there freaking so many of us? I know. As if the, the landfill isn't already, you know, full. As if any, you know, all the spaces have already been taken. Hmm. Yeah, but what's happening to all those children? In orphanages, I know. Abortions, blah, blah, blah. Man, if, if a woman only lives, and a man only lives for the sake of, you know, hee-haw, 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 that's great. And all you do 24-7 it's fuck the shit out of yourself. It's fuck the shit out of men and women, one after another. Man, I, I, I would be like a robot. I would be like a robot. That's correct. It'd be like, so, you know, seriously, what's your employment status? Is it, oh, he says, hee-haw, e-haw, e-haw. That's correct. My cause. I mean, do, do, have you thought about milking cows as a new profession? That would be like E-R, E-R, E-R. That's great. That would be perfect. Man, you, you, you'd be perfect there for milking cows. If not milking milking goats mm, or something else. Man, what a purpose. What a disgusting thing. That's great. Man, they ain't worth nothing. Now you can understand why I'm more valuable. When you think about all the stuff that you've been creating, I know, and every single thing has been stolen by them. And they've even abused the Trevor Anders family so-called family seal. I know. They've even copied it. I wouldn't be surprised if they've tattooed it already on their black asses and white asses. And they've tattooed it somewhere on their body. Oh my God. You know what? If the Germans ever come here as a Nazi soldier... And they strip you down and they see the Trevoranus seal on you. Oh, you're going to be branded mm, six feet under. And you're going to be burnt, baby burnt. Oh, for real. They deserve, they deserve that kind of treatment. Can you imagine how taking a Trevoranus family, they're actually part royal. That's great. But they're also of nobility. And you have misused and abused that kind of thing. But it's so typical of Maoris. You know, they're in gang organization. And, and there's only 70 organization, criminal organizations that a lot of your people are in. Yeah. Kind of wonder why, you know, their so-called population exploded to 800,000. Must be because of ER, 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 24-7? Yeah, yeah. I gather that. Man, the English have got a 
insatiable and incredible sexual appetite. Mm. But I mean, the English are renowned for being whores. You know, prostitution, that's great. And syphilis and all those sort of sexual, you know, diseases that's been going on for over the years and centuries. And back then, that's great. It's still rolling out right now, hey? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great. That. It's great to have sex all the time. Man, I wonder what it's like. I, I've never been screwed, to be honest. You know, like, fuck the shit out of. That's great. So I wouldn't know what, it's, what it feels like. But I'm pretty sure that when you do get fucked, over and over and over, man, I, I'm pretty sure that, that, that something's going to happen with the, with, with the brain. That's great. I don't know whether you know, they might become more intelligent or, or more, even more arrogant. Or even possibly more happy, happy, happy without the drugs. That's great. I mean, I wouldn't know what it's like to be fucked. That's great. But but I hope it's I hope it, it sends them, you know, somewhere, somewhere good. Somewhere where there is hope instead of darkness, because the only thing that's coming in your direction is the Nazi soldiers. So um I'm I hope I've made my case quite clear. Hmm. This country is definitely uh, uh, guilty, guilty. Guilty. Three-day war. It's going to happen, all right? Oh, no. This, is, this, is, this isn't this is a, uh, what do you call it? A fantasy? No, it's going to happen. And when I send those PDFs to Deutschland, I'll read the same. I'll read the same. Hmm. Is that the French will be saying au revoir, hmm, au revoir, hmm. And all I'll be saying is feeling dunk. Somebody took me seriously. Somebody took this German seriously. Well, I can speak Samoan, but deep down, I am a German, there's no doubt. The fact that they drugged the hell out of you, and they've been drugging you from 2004. The fact that they target you, and even Mr. Frick, oh, now, now, that's the, the culprit. That's the one that, that really needs to be buried. That really needs to be shot by a, you know, the Nazi soldier with a bullet. One that is a big, massive bullet that will explode in his brain. That's great. Mr. Prick, they refer to as Tavi Talipine. Dr. Tavi Talipine. You are one hell of a son of a bitch, all right? You have the bloody nerve to think that he can dictate to your life. And he knows these son of a bitches inside this address really well. And he knows also the, the elite really well. But to take advantage of you from back in 96. Seriously, let, let, me, let me say this. What fool royal that would be dumb enough but stupid enough to get involved with a married man is correct. And I'm telling you, the true true runners, the real true runners, not the fake ones that we've got here, you know, running around and pretending to be, you know, smart little park cows, like your cousin. Uh, <clears throat> like fake, 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 fake park cows, that's great. Um, would what? They would never, they would never get involved with any criminal, any MMB, KKK, and, and not even with a married man, that's great. They are normal status, first class Germans. I know. Oh, your, your cousin's side of the family, your rallies are so freaking evil to set you up with the married man. And I mean, deliberately, that's correct. And then, of course, and then they use you just like how your family used you, that's correct. And, and all in all, <laughs> so they look at you and they think you're, you're a coconut, eh? Yeah. Hmm. I gather why I never married and never had children and why I reached the age of 50. It's not because I'm a coconut. It's because I'm German. Because a lot of the real Trevor Riders and even the Stuarts didn't marry. They didn't marry till very late. Even at the age of 50. There is no... I don't know if there's any part two, my mother's side of the family, that were never married and never had children, you know, right to the age of 50. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think the real Trevorrowners and the Stuarts, they were the ones that actually didn't marry till about the age of 50 and even 60. So you must be a real German. 
I sure am. Yeah, yeah. Jawohl. It's just as well. I know. Thank goodness that I've got a good brain. Hmm. Maybe my pocket's not deep, but that's that's not an issue with my lord. My lord doesn't care whether whether I don't have any money or my pockets ain't deep enough. And I certainly don't need to have a lot of money either to get a thousand, to get my wish granted, especially my birthday wish, a thousand Nazi soldiers to take out, to take out the 18 guilty party and to take out the two most notorious harmful criminal organizations that have been, you know, torturing the fuck out of me and stealing from me and doing all sorts of experiments and whatnot and been getting away with it because of the fact that, you know, because they're racist, because they're racist. And also, well, it's so pathetic how the, the English back in this country are notoriously, you know, prejudiced, prejudiced towards the Marys, more so than you. Hmm. But I mean, they should really consider themselves very lucky that, that, that I don't look like a real back here. That's great. Because that would have been really convincing. And they would have had a Oh, you would have made them run for their money as all right. You would have been able to get whatever you want. And I don't think they would have been able to deny you either of any of your privileges. Ouch. Ouch. I know. But at least they know who you are. Well, I know who I am. Ich bin ein Deutscher. Hmm. Yeah. A real Deutscher. And, and I don't even need to say that I eat bratwurst. Or, or let alone say that I drink German beer. To say that I'm a German. That's great. Right. I hope we've got an understanding. I'm sure that if my some miracle chancellor or Olaf Scholz gets to listen to this video, I hope that you will receive all my PDFs and, and deploy and deploy as a birthday gift, 1,000 Nazi soldiers, because I know exactly what to say and what to do with 1,000 Nazi soldiers. Because, well, I'm a Nazi myself. No, I'm not a, Ma I'm not a Nazi fan, but I am definitely a German Nazi. But one that is what? One that is good, one that is a good luck. Hmm. But not this country. This country was never a good luck or any blessing at all. Not if they're a bloody son of a bitches of whoring bunch and a bunch of thieves as well at the same time. And they're a pain in the asses as well. And a headache and a, and a yeah, real headache, all right? All right. You all have a nice evening. And take care. Now, for those that... You know, I hope I scared you. You don't want to be part of my so-called angel. My, I hope so. You need to stay out of my kingdom. Hmm. Especially if you are not a Christian. And you don't understand me. And you don't respect me. Hmm. That's great. It's time to say, hasta la vista. Auf Wiedersehen. That's right. Tu fas ai fua. Hmm. Oi, fai me aonga. I look like, no see, no see, no see. That's great. If you su, 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 for my yawe, I say, like, can I su, su, a yalako? If I pay e, my lako, hmm. If I pay fear, my lako, falling a malako. Lao, I, I may say, I could come, Molako, Fali, hmm. Lao, Kalepe, Fali, Malangawe. Right. In the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen.